Kathy Wood and ARK Invest have a, a team that apparently just pretty much researches what Tesla are doing, looks at whether or not um, they think Tesla's innovations will actually work, and assesses them, then lets their investors know what exactly is going on at Tesla. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And Kathy Wood has made some kind of bold claims here. Now, as you know, there's a new hardware system called Hardware 4. And Hardware 4 involves Tesla upgrading all of the cameras on the cars. It's changed all the cameras now to 5 megapixels before there are 1.5 megapixels, so big upgrade in camera performance. It's also added an additional camera to the car, and there are some upgrades to the actual artificial intelligence chip, or basically the computer chip in the car, the full self-driving chip, you could call it. Now, Tesla have already disclosed that they have a lot of work to do with hardware for. They need to train it. They need to use the neural networks. Dojo Supercomputer is actually working on hardware 3 right now, not actually hardware 4. However, Kathy Wood appears to think a bit differently to what everyone else does. And she had this to say recently. Tesla is getting closer to full self-driving, level 4, level 5, as shown by the manufacturer's recent progress. Now, I want to make... Um, kind of clear here, level five self-driving is not achievable by one manufacturer. It's impossible because really full self-driving level five means cars can communicate with each other. And until that happens, um, you can't really achieve level five. So level four is obviously achievable by an individual manufacturer, but not level five. She said, what we're seeing is certain breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, and they're taking Tesla closer to its goal. Now, I agree Tesla will get closer to their goal. Of course, having the world's fastest supercomputer um, training the neural network is going to help with that. But I have no idea how close they really are. I'm not really sure many people do. There's a lot of people who theorize on this. There's a lot of people on um, one particular electric car website who basically slam Tesla in their full self driving constantly, like every second day, almost as though they have nothing else to do. And personally, I think that's a bit of a waste of time and energy. There's actually more interesting things to talk about, which is why I don't talk about full self driving very often, because I don't really fully understand how neural networks work. And to be honest, how many people really do? Tesla is making progress with full self driving. Tesmanian says this aims to bring fully autonomous driving to cars. At the end of 2020, the company launched its full self-driving beta, which was more advanced than autopilot and full self-driving features it offered to customers previously. In the process, the technology went through many changes and improvements. One of the biggest was the merger of city and highway driving into a single stack with the release of full self-driving beta version 11. Now, right now, if you order a Tesla website, doesn't matter what country you're in, it says if you order full self-driving, that soon it will be capable of driving, stopping and starting in city streets, basically navigating by itself in city streets. And that's obviously the, the main thing Tesla is working on. Now, getting a car to drive on a highway using full self-driving is not actually that difficult most of the time. I mean, obviously there are edge cases that can cause problems, but 99% of the time it's not that big of a deal. But driving through a city completely different story. Tesla has started using artificial intelligence to achieve that goal. And if you think about many of the videos that I make here on this channel, I often talk about this, not in, not in the context of Tesla, but in the context of new scientific breakthroughs, new discoveries. They're coming mostly now through quantum computers. Basically what they're doing is they're running simulators through these supercomputers, simulations through these supercomputers. And it's taking sometimes three or four months to, to run simulations that in the past would take hundreds of years. And that is providing them with solutions that the researchers would never be able to figure out themselves. I'm going to guess that that is what could potentially happen with Tesla with their new Dojo supercomputer. At this point, testers are still using full self-driving version 11.7. However, Elon Musk said, that starting from version 12, the beta part will be removed from full self-driving. This is due to the fact that starting with this version, the technology will become so good that it'll be ready to be used by the mass market without additional concerns. Such a breakthrough will be possible thanks to training the neural network, training the artificial intelligence, having better cameras, having that additional camera, having faster processing that can actually kind of process things in real time. 
ARK Invest founder Kathy Wood gave her advice on Tesla's latest advances in autonomous driving. She said when asked about version V12, well, if you received the last software upgrade, you'll see how much full self-driving has improved. In addition, Wood explained Musk's comment about artificial intelligence. She said that Tesla needs large language models to accomplish the last mile of full self-driving development. Now, obviously it's always the last mile. It's that final 1% that is so difficult. It, it was the same with the genome project, the same with so many things, so many breakthroughs in human history. It's the final 1% that is the tricky part and that takes the longest amount of time, which doesn't really seem to make sense, but it's counterintuitive, but it's actually true. Kathy Wood mentioned that data already shows that driving a Tesla with full self-driving is six times safer than the average car. I'm not sure that that's 100% correct in all situations. I'm sure in many it would be. I've got to admit, there's been times when I have done the whole, you know, the not thing and you go, whoa, 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 whoa. I think I just had a micro sleep. I think everyone, if they're being truly honest, has done that. And obviously uh, having a, a car drive you, it's not going to go to sleep. Well, hopefully not. So that would be one way that the, the system could potentially be much safer than a human being. Plus, the other thing is, I think it's pretty common. Well, not common, but everyone has done this at some point where you go to you go to turn, change lanes. You don't realize there's a car right in your blind spot. Now, usually you check it and you know where the, the, you, you actually look, turn your head to make sure, or you have a car that can check for you. But there's always going to be that one occasion every few years that you, you get a little scared. You go, oh, someone's in the blind spot. Oh, I nearly turned into them. Or maybe not nearly, but you just had that moment where you went, oh, there's someone there. The advantage of having cameras do this for you is it's like having a camera in the back of your head, the sides of your head, the back of your head, all around your head. And obviously human beings, we only have eyes at the front. That's a pretty big disadvantage. What we're seeing is certain breakthroughs in artificial intelligence taking Tesla closer to its goal, said Kathy Wood. She added that Tesla's current safety metrics are based on the information that accidents during which full self-driving enabled occur once every 3.2 million miles. This reflects a significant improvement over both Tesla's pre-full self-driving metrics and the average human driver. Now, that's surprisingly enough a controversial statement. So what I'm curious to know is, what are your thoughts on this? Do you agree with Kathy Wood? Do you think Tesla is getting closer? I mean, some people do, some people don't. Some people think it's never gonna be solved. You guys know what I think. I think there's still a couple of years to go, probably maybe a year or two, possibly, maybe longer. But I do think it will absolutely be solved. I just don't know when. What are your thoughts on when? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.